I will tell you that the chief and I, along with my wife, visited the family uh, this morning. A wonderful down-to-earth family, a wonderful group of people, and we let them know how we felt about their loss and how bad it was. And um, we do not condone wrong. It doesn't matter who it is. And we're there to support them uh, as we can uh, for the future. I also will tell you that thanks to Senator Marlon Kempson and also uh, one of the members of the state legislature, we received a grant to purchase 101 body cameras. Those body cameras are on order. Today I made an executive decision and have notified my council. We have already ordered this morning an additional 150 body cameras so that every officer that's on the street in uniform will have a body camera. This has been a horrible tragedy uh, within our community. There have been two families that have uh, been harmed great by what occurred, both the victims and the officer's family. And our hearts go out to both of them. We, uh, I was taken back by the warm and kind reception that we received today from the family. They are an outstanding family within our community. Was CPR ever performed on this man as far as you know? Um, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be totally honest with you. Do that. I am. And give me just a second. The honesty comes from my heart. Um, I, I have watched the video. Um, and, and I was sickened by what I saw. Um, and, and I have not um, watched it since. But in that end, as I was, because I've been receiving a lot of phone calls and a lot of emails, in the end of it, um, what I saw was a, a, I believe to be a police officer removing the, the shirt of the individual um, and performing some type of life-saving um, but I'm not I'm not sure what took place there.